Hey folks, this is Lionfish Extermination Corporation, and we removed these invasive lionfish, like you see here. Check this shot out. Ooh, air ball. Sometimes we miss, but that's okay. We usually get them on the second shot. Lionfish were introduced here sometime in the 90s, and they really like it here. They've spread far and wide, and everywhere you look, you can see lionfish. Right now, we have thousands of people around the state hunting lionfish, trying to remove them. Our nonprofit removes lionfish from our beautiful Florida waters, but we don't do anything else but hunt lionfish. No other fish is allowed on our boat. You know, so we see all these other fish in the ocean, we don't touch them, we leave them be, and the lionfish is our only focus. So you see the Goliath grouper there swimming around. That's one of the largest groupers in our oceans, for sure. The potato grouper is the next largest, I would say, and they're on the other side of the world. And we have a huge school of spade fish and a bull shark swimming with his little jack friends. Pretty darn cool. There's his companion bull shark cruising around together. Very cool. Now we're diving and we're hunting lionfish, but the bull sharks don't seem to mess with us. They just like to check it out and see what we're up to, and and then as soon as we give them any attention, they, they flee from the scene as quick as possible. There's a little nurse shark taking a nap on the bottom. And look at this guy. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful girl. This is a loggerhead sea turtle cruising around with the bull sharks. Man, that's cool. What a clear day. That was a beautiful day that day. So pretty. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Lionfish uh, breed and they lay up to 2 million eggs per year. So it's very important that we remove as many females and lionfish in general as possible. If we let them sit down there, they will continue to breed and the numbers will become so great that they will actually wipe out areas of the reef. They will take all the fish and, and there won't be any fish left. And uh, when that happens, when the fish numbers are so low, the reef will end up perishing because of that and it'll just be rock over time. Uh, the lionfish are one of the worst invasive species ever to, ever to live on this earth. Uh, they were put here by careless uh, people that have fish tanks and uh, they dropped them in the ocean and ever since that happened they bred and bred and bred until now we have a alarming amount of them and the only thing to do is to figure out ways to remove as many as possible we can't get rid of them completely because there's too many and it only takes two lionfish to keep this whole thing going so we have a check out that hogfish really quick Wow, it's got his mouth open. He's probably carrying some sort of shell. I was very confused, and that's why I filmed him. He was carrying it, and he'll probably try to crack it open and eat it at some point. More spade fish. Those are, uh, these are amberjacks. These are really cool fish. They're a fierce predator as well, but they have predators themselves that, that attack them. There's another one. Boom. Nice big one. Jeez. Those are venomous spines. The lionfish is not... Uh, poisonous it is venomous so as long as you don't get poked with the spine uh, when you are collecting it or filleting it it's actually completely safe to eat and you can uh, you do what you will with it you can eat it raw for sushi or you can do mm. some sort of uh, fried fish do a sandwich do a uh, uh, what do you call it you can bake it, you can make smoked fish dip, you can do anything you can do with a regular white flaky fish, except for it's a lionfish. Now this flag was pulled underwater, and because it was pulled so deep, it was compressed from the pressure in the ocean, and it sunk to the bottom. That was supposed to be floating on the surface, so the dive boat could see where I was, but it sunk down to the bottom, and I had to go up really high to let it actually float again. So I'll never be using that flag again, that's for sure. This is our beautiful reefs, and we try to keep the lionfish away from this area. We usually intercept them in the really deep water before they get to this awesome, beautiful reef. There's very few lionfish in this area, and it should be covered in them if we weren't doing this. If, if divers weren't removing this fish, it would be completely covering everything. Now, here we go. That's one of the most beautiful sharks in the ocean, the hammerhead. Now, I think this is a scalloped hammerhead instead of a great hammerhead. But you'll have to help me out. What do you think? 
take a look as it comes closer and we can try to figure out whether it's scalloped or the greater hammerhead. Wow, it's beautiful though. Look at that long sleek body. It doesn't seem to be too scared of me. It's looking at me because it has the eye on the side of its head. So it knows I'm there. Usually the greater hammerhead has a really tall dorsal, and this does have a tall dorsal, so maybe it is a greater hammerhead. 